In the past few years, William Byron has gone from an iRacing phenom to a potential Cup Series superstar. He would become one of iRacing's top drivers in the United States, scoring over 100 wins and over 250 top fives in online competition. He would later make the jump to Legends cars, where he would dominate there as well. He was so dominant that Dale Earnhardt Jr. decided to sign him to his late model team in 2014. He would score one win and 11 top five finishes while finishing second in the points to teammate Josh Berry at Hickory Motor Speedway. In 2015, he would make the jump to the NASCAR k and East Pro Series, racing there full time for owner Justin Marks. His 2015 stats are this, four wins, five top fives, 11 top tens, three poles, an average finish of 6.8 and would win the championship. Soon after, he decided it was time to move up to the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series, and luckily, the best team in that series, Kyle Busch Motorsports, decided they wanted him and signed him to a deal for the 2016 season. What soon followed was one of the most dominant Camping World Truck Series seasons I have ever seen from anyone. Ben Rhodes in second. The white flag waves in Kansas with Johnny Schotter in the lead. William Byron has slipped back to third, but can he make a run to the final lap? This thing isn't over. These guys are bearing down on Sauter. Johnny Sauter had to go to the back of the field after an unapproved adjustment in qualifying. And now he's charged. Oh, and Ben Rhodes hits him. Rhodes takes Rhodes. him out. And here comes Byron. William Byron. The caution is out, and William Byron is in front and will win at Kansas. Uh, William Byron goes to victory lane in his fifth truck series start of his career. Bring it down, young man. William Byron is the winner. Rico still has his foot in it. White the white flag, flag. one to go. William Byron trying to hold on for the win. Oh, Rico! Look, Rico's in the again. wall again. He probably blew probably, that right front probably tire. Probably cut a tire down. Yeah. What a shame. Yeah, the right front tire looks like it's down on Rico's truck. He loses a spot to Johnny Sauter right there. William Byron is bringing it home. The teenager is doing it again. His second career win. William Byron, victorious at Texas. Rico has got nothing to be ashamed of, folks. That was an incredible drive he had. Not at all, but what a great job by that 18-year-old William Byron. <laughs> Amazing, win number two. The white flag for William Byron. Custer chasing him. Can he make up the ground? Love what Cole Custer did there. He said, give me something. Let me just try something. You gotta try something. Can't just follow in his tire tracks. Two turns to go for the 18-year-old William Byron. In just his ninth career start, he's gonna win for the third time. William Byron wins at Iowa. Rudy Fugel and the Kyle Busch Motorsports team celebrating again. This young driver is putting his stamp on this series immediately. White flag is out, one to go at Kentucky. Byron leads, Nemechek in second, Daniel Hemrick in third. Through one and two they go, Byron trying to hold off the eight. Nemechek looking outside, Byron to block. Hit your heart, hit your heart. Oh, Nemechek off Turn the road. three. Bounced off the apron, lost some momentum. William Byron is gonna do it. He wins at Kentucky in a record-setting victory for Kyle Busch Motorsports. Ties Kurt Busch for the most by a rookie in the truck series. Kurt did it back in 2000. We know the great driver and champion Kurt Busch has become and makes you wonder what it's going to happen with William Byron in the next 15 years. He's only got years. 13 more races to, to maybe <laughs> exceed that record. He's going to be a five-time winner. That's a new rookie record in the truck series. William Byron does it again, winning at Pocono. Thank you, guys. Awesome team. Good. Great job, guys. Great job, everybody. Stay crew. The heck of a job putting this thing together. Coming to the white flag for William Byron, but he's getting...
pressure from his teammate Christopher Bell. He has a fast truck in front of him. That's Cameron Haley. I don't think Cameron will hold William back too much here. But Bell is certainly right there within two or three truck lengths. Bell closing. Can Byron hold off as they roll into turn three? William Byron through four. He's going to do it. The first chase race ever in the truck series belongs to William Byron. the 18 year old is going to get out and grab that checkered flag it seemed like william byron was well on his way to winning the 2016 truck series title until the final race of the round of six at phoenix he would not advance to the championship four when his engine blew while he was leading the race a lot of fans including myself were like oh this is one of the reasons why the playoffs suck william byron would have definitely won the championship if we had consistent points actually that is false Johnny Sauter would have actually won the title either way. If we go back on racing reference to non-playoff standings after the final race at Homestead, a race which William Byron won by the way, William Byron would have still lost the title by 3 points. So his 2016 stats are this, 7 wins, 11 top 5s, 16 top 10s, an average finish of 9.2 and would finish 5th in the standings. Byron would not have to wait long at all to get a championship because the very next season he would move up to the Xfinity Series with JR Motorsports and win the 2017 NASCAR Xfinity Series Championship. And once again, that'll do it for another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Black Flags Matter. Catch you next time.